guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a little flip through I I have been following Ellie Marks on Instagram for quite a while and she's been uploading pictures of this book and she released the PDF version a little while ago but I had been waiting for the printed copy version um, I'll be honest I haven't bought her other books they didn't interest me as much but this one really did and it might be because I was kind of part of like or not part of it <laughs> but watching it develop on Instagram so it made me really excited to see her create this so it's called Victoriana you can get this on her Etsy shop now in both PDF so if you want to print it and bind it yourself or the printed copy the printed one also comes signed by Ellie so Here's, you know, she left me her little signature and such, and then it came with a thank you and a coupon code. Always nice. So, I wanted to do a little flip through with you guys and show you what's in here. The binding is a little tight, so <laughs> hopefully we fit it in, but it's a super cute book, and it kind of reminded me of the romantic country, but not exactly. It just had that similar vibe. Also, the paper this is printed on is uber thick. It's like a cover cardstock. I love it because that means I could use my ink tents and watercolors and neocolors, and this stuff is going to handle it just fine. So, her books tell a story. That's why I said it kind of reminded me of Romantic Country. But here we are on the first page, and I'm not going to read it to you, <laughs> not unless you want to be here all day, but we'll just kind of flip through the images and see what's here. And then the, you know, this belongs to Paige, which is super cute. I love it already. All right, let me see if I can get these both on camera for you guys. Perfect. Okay. So this is, like, her style is kind of... Johanna Basford like but then the story and some of the images remind me of romantic country so like it's as if Johanna and romantic country books married into one <laughs> at least that's what it feels like to me so this is the Victorian homes she's got a cute little Victorian home picture here and then I always have to double check I'm not on two pages because these are so thick and this hot air balloon one, I saw when she uploaded this to Instagram. I was like, oh, that it would be so pretty. Look at, like, this huge blank canvas to do some sort of gorgeous background. Love it. All right, and then here's the bookshop one. I'll turn it so you can actually see the image. Isn't that cute? Romance, travel section. I mean, like, a lot of thought went into these, so I really love it. All right, Victorian fashion. So some of these are printed, you know, this way, but because it's spiral bound, I can just like close it and it not be a big deal. This bridal shop one, when she shared it on Instagram, I was just like, oh, I can't wait. I love coloring dresses, fluffy dresses, not just any dress, those fluffy ones. Tea time, which is also right here having tea with her little cat and this one there will be a lot of like switching directions Victorian Christmas I mean this would be perfect for this time of year but although Christmas is over but it's so wintry so this one's pretty cute too look at the little footprints he left Victorian ballet love this one If I can get the page to turn. Alright, now we're onto the O Baby. And I like these little ones, you know, that give a little history about the era, but also you can color them. There's always like something there to color. So here's this one. I think this one's super adorable too. And again, like super open background, you know, like opportunities. Shopping. Cute little mice. Here's this one. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if I'm the only person with this problem, or it's not really a problem, but I love coloring food. 
And I think it's because it's practice. Like I can refine my apple color combo and whatnot. But I love like, that was one thing I loved about romantic country ones was the store shops. They were super overwhelming. But they were like doable and they were fun because they just had tons of little food things. So Victorian Halloween. This one's super cute with the witch. Love it. And then we're on Queen Anne Beauties. This is another sideways one. It's like the thickest cardstock ever. <laughs> Victorian Architects. I love this house. It looks so cute and a little boat in the window. Man's Best Friend. The Shaggy Dog. What kind of dog is that? Is that a poodle? Would it be a poodle? I'm not really sure. I bet you it would say here. But yeah, this one I like a lot. Below stairs. Woman doing laundry. <laughs> Little goat trying to run off with her laundry. This one I thought was so cute when she shared it on Instagram. Something old, something new. So the Victorian weddings. That would be so fun to do that veil. The nursery, little children's playroom. This could even be a winter scene because look at the trees. You could totally make that like a snowy outside. The riding habit. Look at that pretty horse picture. I love it. It has all these flowers, the stonework, the wrought iron fence. That would be so fun to color can't wait to color in this book. I'm afraid though, I almost like want to buy the PDF <laughs> so I can print it out too. And then Glorious Gardens. This one's really pretty. I love it. All aboard. So this is a train one. Let's see. So here's the train image. I love the Victorian dresses. And then bundle up another perfect one for winter or Christmas. Look at this one. Isn't this so adorable? I mean, the image is right here too, but it's so cute. Just the back of the little, I'm going to say girl because it looks like a dress there. But this one would be so fun to color. And then Victoria, California. This one's really pretty too. A little scene. This could either be a lake or an ocean. I'm going to say it's maybe the ocean. I'm originally from California, so and that's all the images. But then you have like your test your colors page here on the back. And again, like super thick card stock. But yeah, you can get this on her Etsy store, whether you want the PDF or the printed one. And this shipped super fast. Like it was supposed to not even show up to like mid January or something. And I got it and like maybe 10 days so it came way faster than I thought but I highly suggest you follow her on Instagram she shares like you know books in progress and so I, it got me more excited about it to be honest and like I said I haven't purchased her other ones because they just weren't for me but this one really caught my eye if you have this one let me know if you love it just as much as me and then yeah I'll leave the links to the PDF and the printed one or actually I'll just leave it to her Etsy store you can find those but she has other books too so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time take care